love bugs it's Rosalind back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family as always just thank you so much for the love and support it is truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even um if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe that you really would love to share with someone else after it uplifted you and you know gave you powerful insight you know please go ahead and share uh today i will be um doing uh my tarot reading for today i haven't did this in a while i really love doing this because i remember i used to give people so much props that they would subscribe to my channel that does tarot cards because i'm like man that mess wiped me out but universe got their ways on you know put me in you know let me being able to connect with my talent and be able to share that with other people talents and gifts whatever you want to call it but yeah this is for uh the sign of sag um i'm gonna be doing this for the month of may uh, uh like i tell every on every video of the tarot card readings this may not resonate with everybody so please don't read deep into this you know you may be able to resonate with them maybe like dead spot on um and uh, you know if you are ever interested in having you know um, a private reading please let me know I always leave my uh, my contact information in the description box below um, universe what does Sag need to know about the month of May what beautiful things is coming in for the beautiful Sag what, is, what they got going on everybody been having a really good you know a really really good reading I love the ones that I had it was like no I forgot which one it was I think it was cancer it kind of made me sad about that one but you know it's going to be a beautiful thing that comes out for whoever whoever that is is strongly resonating for that i never had a reading like that before but um yes what does sag need to know have been meditating sad you know you've been going through different things in your life and even though it's been hard for you you are allowing yourself to really place your intentions on you know let me go on to meditation let me you know clear my vibration let me allow myself to forgive allow me to cut cords uh just you know uh disconnecting from anything that is no longer serving seeing everything is a life lesson they're showing me this it's just like when i see them it's like you know the captain the military you know and it's like with the military you know i was uh raised military um through the military family you know they're like very strict on different things and they you know they're they're by the book so this is certain things that you have been at war you know you've been at war with yourself you've been at war with your old self the enemy of yourself and you've been knowing what to aim for for you to be able to clear that and the universe is very proud of you for that but there's music that's playing for you it's like i don't know if you're a musical person but it's just like you know i see a a, a sag that is like working out and they have like a playlist or they may be uh loving to play music maybe you like to play a guitar or something like that and it'll be certain vibrations will come up or there's certain music that comes up and it's like repeat i forgot what other sign i did this for but it's like somebody is hearing a certain song that they've been really questioning they want you know it's like hey am i you know am i leveling up is doors opening for me and you know there's so many different things that's coming into you uh coming into the music and it's like listen to the music face it you know and you just feel like you know even though you're in meditation and stuff like that you just really feel like uh, celebration is not in store for you like good things aren't coming but it is you're going through a healing cycle right now and it's not is going it's going to happen but it's going to be right when you least expect it and that's what they're saying they said they're clearing your whole karma and a lot of times we get tired of that because patience comes in a strong play you know i say patience is a virtue and i feel like that's a, a, a daggone cuss word to me you know like i hate that word patience but then it's just like i had to appreciate it at the same time because it's better in me 
You know, you don't want to get a blessing and you screw it all up. And that's one thing they're not trying to have you do. And you're not listening. <laughs> it's like basically that's why the music is up there, up, upside down. And they're letting you know, you know, listen to the music. You know, there's a lot of different things. Uh, listen to what is being, what you're being guided to. Uh, there may be different omens that's coming into your life. It's like, hey, take it easy. You know, everything doesn't have to be serious. You know, allow yourself to uh, learn from these different things that's coming in. Because it's like the person that I'm seeing is always in their head. Like, you know, they're, they may be into a situation where they feel depressed. Um, they may be crying a lot, you know, even though, um, you know, you may act like you're a strong person, but you're really dealing with a lot of different things. It's hard for you to really get peace from right now. And this is going to happen. You know, it's, uh, it's a force you got to be reckoned with. You know, you got a romance that's, you know, that's really there for you. There's somebody who really loves you into the situation i don't know if it's something that is kingdom uh orchestrated you know kingdom like if your kingdom spouse is is taking place but there is a strong romance that is underway with this situation but you're clearing it you know you're really clearing yourself this is something that you know i think there's a lot of people in different signs that are are clearing themselves for that because you don't know what universe has in store for you you know but you, you know a lot of times you got to go through the downs to you know vibrate you know vibrate through the ups you're not accepting yourself god dog what you want what you got going on saying <laughs> she's just like you're not accepting the truth within yourself and they're telling you love yourself for how you are you know you you have to become your best friend you know you may have gone through different things where it may have changed your appearance um but they're saying love yourself flaws and all you know if you have that chance where maybe uh you you've uh lost a lot of weight this is right where it's telling you start eating back healthy start meditating you know um don't beat yourself up you know but your body is a temple and they're telling you you got to honor that and you know your guardian angels your guardian angels are really guiding you through these moments it's like whatever you're going through i don't know if it, it is like um you had a death in your family recently or it's like you're going through a spiritual death you know a lot of us are going through that right now you're going through a rebirth but your your guardian angels are helping you if you see the guardian angel right there and you see this woman right there you know she's all in her head you know she's going through a lot and it's just her guardian angels is letting her know she's she's assisted and you are you know you've been focused you know I, I don't know what's uh uh you know got you but it was just like something just happened to where it was like a wake-up call and it really put you in a line of focus it's like you know what you want in your life you know what you got to heal you know you want positivity in your right you know in your life you're making these positive moves if you're making negative uh moves in your life you're bringing on negativity and they're like being careful what you wish for um and you see the magic within yourself you're really seeing it and you have a lot more um the the new moon that we had the other day i don't know if it was a new moon full moon or whatever but it was a moon that happened and it really catapulted a lot of people's frequencies and vibrations very heightened to where you felt that big shift you don't know what it is but you felt it and it's something about you you felt and it really had you in that you know maybe you know it had something to do with your self-acceptance you know, but they're telling you you're a magical person. You are forced to be reckoned with. You know, allow yourself to claim that power. You got it. Okay. You got new beginnings coming. You know, you got new beginnings coming. I don't know what it is. You are flip flopping, Sag. What you got going on? Because it's like you wait, listen to the music. They had to pause for your, you know, your celebration because you weren't accepting yourself. You got romance coming. You know, they're telling you to listen. You know, you're listening to different things. You got the magic in you. You got it. Anything that you face, you can conquer. And they're telling you that. You got new beginnings. It's about to open doors for you. And what, I, what it is, when I see these doors, it's, it's just like a, a castle door. Like whatever doors is opening, you got big, beautiful beginnings that's coming up. And you're strongly merging with something. You know, it may be that romance. You may, may be having a kingdom spouse that's coming in. You're merging within your own power. No, they're telling, okay, thank you, spirit. You're more, more, uh, you're merging with your enchantment. You know, your, your, uh, magic. Like I said, you had, um, uh, it, it was like a major shift that just took place with a lot of people. You do you've probably been doing a lot of uh, clearing, you've been disconnecting from things that is just like toxic to your soul, and you've been doing that, and you really had to allow yourself to go through that. And they're saying congrats. You know, it's not easy to do what we do, but you're not seeing the signs. It, it's just like I don't know. It's like the spirit that I'm getting is like you're back and forth. 
you know, you, you're happy one minute and then you're negative the next. You know, something good happens and then something negative happens, you know, and it's just like it got you flip flop. It, it has you disorienting. it. And they're telling you pay attention to the signs, listen to the music. You know, they're giving it to you through numbers. They're giving it to you through your spirit totems, you know, um, they're giving it to you through advertisement music, you know, especially, you know, um, from what I'm hearing, uh, celebration. <laughs> you know, but it's like your celebration is on hold. But they're planning something very big for you. So you have to allow yourself to really move through that. Sag, you got some good stuff that's coming in. And it's like what you're going through is divine. You know, it's divinely guided. You know, but it's in reverse. You don't, you feel like what you're going through is like a punishment and it's not. You know, a lot of times they feel like God and universe is really punishing us for different things in our life. But you have to understand we're clearing a lot of things. There may have been some things that you dabbled in back in the day and you may have forgot about it, but karma did. You know, we're all clearing out that, that situation. But it's just like it's bringing so much strength, so much love and power and stillness in that. You know, and a lot of us are really needing to practice on um, spiritual stillness and grounding. Recognizing your power. You're doing that. You're recognizing your power. You've been going through a lot of changes. And um, from what I'm feeling, you went through something very rocky. Like that mess was heavy. Really, really heavy. I don't know what it is, but you were dabbling in something. Because when I'm seeing it, it was very dark. I don't know if it was somebody you were, you were dealing with. But it was like that person had some dark stuff attached to them. You know, but you don't feel like you have support. You know, like I said, you may have been, like I said, you may have cut ties with somebody that was very, very not for you. It was like toxic to your soul. And you haven't been taking care of yourself. You know, um, I don't know if you've uh, been a relation addiction type person, sex, sex addiction. Where I'm feeling there's a lot of sex addiction. Um, carrying on with that. Uh, but your harmony, you know, they're wanting you to take care of that. You have support. You got your power to be able to change and heal the way you need to. But it's like you need to take care of yourself because it's like what, what, whatever you are. Like if you have multiple partners, they're telling you you have to be careful with that. Um, because there's something that actually happened to you as a child. You may be, you know, I don't know if you have neglect issues, abandonment issues, mommy issues, daddy issues. But it's like it's starting to... You know, uh, really deal with something like your inner child is needing to be healed. Because there's something that you, uh, and you're not forgiving yourself. I don't know if you're going down the self-destructive role right now. Um, but it's just like, it's leading you. It, this is that thing where you really need to nip it in the bud for whatever it's going through. Because it's just like, that. I hear self-destruction and you don't want that into your life. It's like allowing yourself to heal, you know, let forgiveness take place no matter how hard it is because it's keeping you up at night. These are those things like I don't know if you're you're like substituting like you're self-medicating um, through different things uh, that is that is really taking place. Uh, yeah, it's like you're really needing that peace into your life. Whatever it is, it's like it's wanting you to gain peace into your life. Hold on, y'all. Put my my incense went out. My bad. Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's it's something because it's like a new love is trying to come in. But it, it's just like right now you're all in your head because something is going on like a big change done took place and it's like you really are not allowing yourself to deal with it because it's manifesting. You know, these are the things that uh, 
I don't know what that what that came from. I don't think I touched anything. Um, but you know, there's new manifestation is coming in. They're really wanting you to have that, but it's just like you're in this vibration to where you're self destructing, and they they're saying that you need to really turn turn that away you need to stop and it's like because it's like your manifestations they're answering your prayers through your manifestations you may have been wanting a new love in your life but you had to be able to place that love into yourself first before that can take place and you're you know you're balanced like i said you may have been dabbling in certain things to where you know you're not doing the right techniques or whatever that is for you to uh go through that initial healing um, this taking place, but they're wanting you to gain that balance into your life. You know, fix it before it gets too late. You know, study. You know what? You know whatever it is that you know that you're. You know you're really dealing with, and it's hard for you to just basically. I don't like that word cope, but just face it. You know, deal with it because I feel like cope is like putting a bandaid on a broken leg. You know, um, and they're telling you to study. You know, whatever it is that you you know you are really facing right now, you can look up like what meditations do I need? What kind of uh, healthy techniques do I have to really vibe? You know, um, get into my vibration. You know, and you have a friend that's helping you. And from what um, from where I'm, it, what is this? It's like a friend that's helping you, but it's like a. a what is this? Is this a guardian angel? I don't know. If, yeah. Yeah, it's a guardian angel because they're telling me it's a guardian angel. This is a loved one that um, has passed recently. You know, this person has been popping into your dreams. Or maybe you have a friend that is really worried about you. This really, you know, they're really getting into you as like a brother figure. But you're taking everything so seriously, sad you can't. You know, take it, you know, live one day at a time. But life is too short. You know, you don't want to be living it all in a negative vibration. You know, and you're placing your intentions. You know what you want in your life, but you, you're allowing yourself to focus on the negative, and they're telling you to not do that. You know, because it's like when you focus on the negative, that's what you're creating. You know, your Archangel Michael is trying to, uh, really, really, really trying to uh, guide you towards that way. But you have to be able to want it. You know, they, they it's just like, from what I'm hearing, if universe, you know, they give you a lot of... Uh, insight they give you a lot of um like uh notifications spiritual notifications on what needs to happen and if you disregard that you don't want universe to make you do it because the universe make you do it it's not gonna be good but um miracles you know there is like archangel you know they're they're telling you you know have fun into your life that place intentions into your life you know there's so many miracles that's wanting to come your way but um you're blocking it by the choices that you're making you know which is you know blessings it's like i don't know what you're i don't know what you're doing but you're you know you're blocking your own uh blessings by the choices that you're making um and you're not getting retreat this is that, that time you know like i said i don't know if you are looking for um external uh external uh quick fix like i said um from what i feel because it's like i'm seeing I'm trying to be PG-13 here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like orgies and junk like that. So I'm like, what the heck y'all got going on here? Y'all gonna go sit down. But yeah, they're telling you you need to go through isolation. You know, really through isolation. And it's just like going through these different things. It's like, I don't know if you really went through something and it really triggered you to go down that dark path. But you don't want to continue to go that way because it can really, you know, really mess your health up. Because you're going through a spiritual growth. You really are. And it's like a lot of times going through spiritual growth, it, it can be like that spiritual uh, puberty. And a lot of times it's like when it depends on what you're going through. That can really send you, uh, that can send you in a downward spiral. Especially if you're dealing with a, a, a person that either died or you dealt with a very heavy breakup recently or certain things like that. You you know, you thought it was some uh, one thing and it ended up being another Um you have abundance is coming to you and they're really trying to tell you that and it's like archangel is really telling you you know base your intentions on what you want not what you don't want uh make sure you're pushing out positive vibrations you know miracles and blessings you know for you to do that they've got so many different things that's trying to take place into your life you know because it's like when they're telling me that they said place that there because it's like when you get to that retreat 
It's going to show you so many blessings and miracles that you, you've had waiting for you by your choices. And they don't want you blocking these things because this is something you really truly deserve. And, you know, we can always be that vibration where I deserve this, I deserve that. But if we place in that energy within the action and the work to be able to get ourselves to a line that we feel like we're worthy of that. And a lot of times we don't do that because we feel failure. You know, we feel like we don't have what it takes. We feel like it's going to take too long. We feel like, you know, this is just, you know, something to just... I don't know. It's just like throwing a monkey wrench where you feel may feel like it's all a game, but this is not. This is like something very serious. They want you to be able to uh, get out of that self-destructive vibe because these are beautiful blessings that's wanting to come through. But you're going to have to make the initial, uh, you know, choice on being able to do it what's best for you. So uh, this will, this is different. <laughs> I've never did a reading like this one before. But, hey, it, it is what it is. You know, we go through different things in our lives, you know. And it, it can be hard to be able to deal with at times. But it's like a lot of times we don't realize that negativity can impact us in a, in a, a profound way. That it, it guides us towards positive vibrations. It's just up to you to be able to have that strength and that, that uh, uh, power to be able to do that. And we all do. We have it, you know. All of us have that gift. But a, a few of us open it. We'll put it that way. But, you know, yeah, this is the the reading of the card. So you can be able to see that. Let me, uh-oh, enchantment. Put it that way. So you can be able to see all the cards. Ugh. Okay. See, did I? Okay, now you can see it. Well, if you're ever interested in um, having a reading, um, please let me know. I do private readings as well. You know, I just leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, well, I pray for everything that goes that goes ex exactly promising for you. You know, um, we're all going through some dark moments in our lives and we're really trying to get towards that light. You know, but a lot of times we got to be able to go through it to get to it to get there. And, you know, sometimes we can be very self-destructive when we're going through things and we feel like we don't have a way out. And a lot of times those way outs is showing you to go in so it can get you through. So um, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. But things are going to get better for you. Really are. You just have to be able to make that choice to be, you know, got to be uh, really, really stern with yourself to be able to do that. So much love to you. Peace.